Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. It's our daily angelic message for March 23rd, 2024. If you want to get a reading with me, angelsouls444.com. Those may not always be available. Even the standard readings, I may be shutting them down here and there. Um, but I'll, I'll keep making this content. I'll keep letting you know if it's still open. For now, it is open. If you want a reading, an angelic reading, in this way... And you know I'm doing something here, okay? This is not like how a lot of people approach this. If you want a reading with me, get in line now. Do it. As of the recording of this, I still am running ahead of schedule, but that could always change. You know, some someone can get in ahead of you or lots of people could get in ahead of you. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so today we have the number 18. It's Magic Stream. <sighs> I, I'm hearing like you're going to have to create your own way. You're going to have to create your own way. And this is not in a delusional sense. This is not like I'm going to pretend like I'm super strong. I'm going to pretend like it's the magical thinking. It's the spiritual sidestepping, uh, which I started using that term a long time ago. Then all of a sudden I start hearing it all over the place. I don't know that I invented it. <laughs> I don't think I did, but um, I don't know. It was just funny. I put that in a video and then suddenly everybody's saying that. But spiritual sidestepping where you're kind of using spirituality to explain away your problems or, you know, if something, it's that everything happens for a reason thing where, you know, it must have been God's will for me to do this. If it helps you get through, I don't think there's any problem with that. But where it starts to become problematic is where now you won't take accountability for your life. You won't manifest the things that you need to manifest. You won't grow because you're just like, oh, I'm in escapism now. We see lots of, um, shall we call them spiritual teachers who run away to remote places and try to get people to come with them. I don't know if those are healthy or not. I'm sure not all of them are cults, but um, that's that's a form of escapism. Okay, and unless you're a monk, I don't think that you got to that place in your spiritual development to be able to just run away and you'll probably be back for more. Uh, that's just my opinion, though. That's just my observation. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so for today, this magic stream is, I think you're, you're realizing you've got to create your own way. You've got to create your own magic for yourself. You have to, as we were saying a few days ago, you have to kind of create the joy that you have. What, what can you enjoy? And even if you are in the darkest place in your life, you don't have to take it day by day. You take it breath by breath. One breath. Just give us one breath and then give us another. Give us another. And when you feel alone, I want you to remember me. Okay, I'm here with you. 100% honey. I may not have the exact same struggles that you do, but I have seen in numerous circumstances some of the horrors that humanity can put out there. And there were so many that when I tried to sit with a therapist, she didn't believe me. She didn't believe me because she hadn't experienced those things herself. And because there was so much. I know there's a lot of you out there and I'm speaking directly to you, directly into your heart, if you, if you will allow me to. When you have been through so much, when you have been stomped on so many times, that society treats you like the burden because you might actually get attention. You might actually get support. And of course, they need the attention on them for their silly little things that are happening to them. I want you to remember that you have someone on your side, that I'm on your team, that you are loved. Now, that is not an invitation for you to come siphon energy off of me. That then makes you like these other people, okay? But I, I know the ones. I know the ones. You're the ones that uh, maybe your family has rejected you. Maybe you're in a crowd of friends that don't care about you. They know nothing about you. They don't care about you. Maybe they friended you out of being envious so they could keep tabs on you. Um, maybe they <laughs> they just wanted, like I said before, they just want the body count to look like a bigger group or they want someone to come in and, you know, whatever. Be the punching bag, be the scapegoat, whatever the case may be. Whatever dynamic is going on here, the magic stream to me is saying you're flowing in your own direction and the right people are going to come to you. The right people are going to be there for you. 
And unfortunately, it's probably going to be a lot of quiet, distrustful, <laughs> little distrustful dance around a little bit um, because we've been through so many things. Because we do need to take a beat. And I think that's healthy anyway. You know, you shouldn't rush into a friendship or a relationship with anybody. Feel it out. All right? You're creating your own way. The way your life's path is working out is beautiful because it is yours and because you survived and you continue to survive and you will come on through. And trust me when I say your appreciation time is coming and it's not going to look like how you think. I don't, I don't think that's the thing. I don't think we have context for this just yet, but it's there. All right. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.